Hey everyone, Ken here with another DIY tip. Well, many of you starting out doing some DIY projects, I get it. I used to go into Home Depot just like everyone else and find those dollar brushes. And there's nothing wrong with that, but wait until you get your hands on some really nice brushes. Now you all know we use Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint and we've slowly started using their metallic paint and even some of their stains. But we recently purchased these brushes and they have changed our life but when do you use them and what makes them different well in today's video we're going to show you the differences how to use them how to clean them and hopefully make your diy skills top notch level so let's get to the brushes. So let's take a look at Dixie Belle paint brushes. In this video, we're gonna take a look at specialty brushes and synthetic brushes. Let's first chat about their signature brushes. This includes the Bell brush and the French tip brush. These are perfect for detailing and highlighting, light and easy to use, and offer unique shapes. The Bell brush will truly be your favorite brush as it is mine. The bristles are secured with a state-of-art technology that prevents fallout and maintains shape. The taper edge gets into every inch with one seamless stroke. And the Dixie Bell French tip brush, it is perfect for detailing and highlighting, light and easy to use, and has a perfect grip. What about these synthetic brushes everyone's talking about? Well, Dixie Bell has some of those. These brushes are a game changer. They are made with high quality DuPont synthetic blend filaments that can be suspended in water. Just sit your brush in water and watch the paint fall off. You will not lose any bristles either with these synthetic brushes. Plus, the silky bristles hold plenty of paint and give a flawless brush stroke free finish. These are durable, easy to hold, and use. Now, I first added the signature brushes, the French tip and the bell, to my collection and then the synthetic brushes. And I quickly realized that synthetic brushes were better for putting coverage of your paint down. It holds the paint better and you get a better coverage. The signature brushes, the French tip and the bell, will give you coverage. You might have to do a couple different coats, but in my opinion, they are great for detailing and highlighting. And they are my go-to brushes for faux finishes. Now, I love these brushes because of the highlighting they can do. I can add different layers, I can get different looks, and you can manipulate the paint to give you a different style each time. You can see that here by us pouncing the paint onto the wood. But when it comes to synthetic brushes, let's talk about some of the amazing benefits they offer. Now, compared to the signature brushes, synthetic brushes are your go-to for a stroke-free finish, and it truly will make your paint go further. Featured on the Dixie Bell website, you will find many different synthetic brushes, and truly, they are all made for specific reasons. The round synthetic brushes with the RS and RL are ideal for over painting and produce a similar finish to oval brushes. Oval brushes make for quicker painting, but the round styles are best suited for more detailed areas. These will make quick work of painting banisters, spindles, and more. Perfect brush for small projects like jewelry, boxes, or photo frames. The oval synthetic brushes are marked with an OS and OM. This is ideal for all over painting and great for painting legs and spindles as well as any detailed areas. Oval brushes are favorite among cabinet painters. Now my personal go-to brushes are the flat synthetic brushes and these are marked by an FM, 
FL and FS. This is ideal for large surface painting and more. The large is wonderful for stain and poly applications in addition to painting. Brush was wonderful for more than just paint. There was no streaky finish. The flat styles are also useful for cabinet painting. Dixie Bell also offers a mini angle synthetic brush. The mini angle is comfortable to hold and allows you to get in angled areas and paint corners with ease. It's time to give these brushes a whirl. Now we're gonna be using some Dixie Bell paint and I am going to use the mini angle brush on a fairly large wood panel. Now, when utilizing these brushes, it gives an even coat and it is recommended to wet the brush first. Now, in my experience, I have found it's better to use a fine mist sprayer rather than dipping the brush into water because it almost gets your surface too wet and takes much longer to dry. Once you have sprayed a little bit of water on that synthetic brush, we're gonna dip it straight into the paint and look at this amazing coverage it has. Now we could have used a larger synthetic brush that would have covered this a lot quicker, but even the little mini angle, look at how much paint is continually coming out from those bristles. We have not dipped it a second time. That is truly amazing coverage. We're gonna dip it a second time just so we can finish painting the entire surface of this wood panel. But that was the first thing I noticed with this paintbrush is all of the synthetic brushes truly do give you the most out of your paint. It is perfect for doing your base coat on surfaces or to get an overall even coverage. And you'll notice we don't have any of those harsh brush lines. When it dries, we get a nice even coverage from this paintbrush. And we really haven't used that much. It's a fairly small amount and it truly will give you amazing coverage results that I just have not seen with other brushes. And to clean it simple, you can actually suspend it in water or use one of our favorite cleaning supplies, the Scrubby Soap. Scrubby Soap easily removes paint, grease, dirt, oil, and more, and smells so good. We personally use it for our paintbrushes and to clean our hands. Plus, the scrubby soap is pretty easy to use. A scrubby soap is truly that. It is a scrubbing tool built with the soap inside. So just take your paintbrush, remove all of the excess paint that you can, and start with the brush on the soap side. Move it left and right, back and forth, and then flip the scrubby soap around. Here, you will find the scrubby part. Just keep massaging the brush through the scrubby part and easily rinse the essential oils and soap out of your brush. This will get in between all of the bristles and if you miss a spot it's easy to go right back to the scrubby and scrub a little bit more. Now this soap works amazing to clean all of our brushes not just the synthetic brushes but the french tip and the bell brush and when we're done we will always utilize it to clean our hands it is made with safe non-toxic so you can easily use this to clean the paint right off your hands using the essential oils and the scrubby part of the soap i love this tool and you can get it on website there was a quick look on the brushes you can find on DixieBell.com. Make sure to use the links down below. They help support Ken's beautiful, crazy life. And for that, we thank you. Remember, I love the bell and the French tip for highlighting and giving me some great faux finishes where those synthetic brushes are my go-to for the best overall coverage and making my paint last the longest. Let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comments. And we hope you have a great day. Thanks, everyone.